transform your life one step at a time. The power of habits. Hello and welcome to today's podcast episode on transforming your life one step at a time. The power of habits. I'm your host, Leanne, and I'm here to guide you on an exciting journey of self-improvement through the magic of habits. For those of you who know me or have been following me over the last few years, you know that I am constantly talking about the power of habits and routines in my life. Having focused and intention-based habits and routines is what sets my day up for success. Also, the core of my education for my certifications as a life and health coach is the habit change coaching method. The habit change coaching method is about facilitating lasting transformation, helping people make positive changes in their lives that supports well being. Habits are the number one determiners of the quality of life. Most people have pretty good ideas of some important changes that they would like to make in their lifestyle. It's the power pull of habits that keeps them stuck. Doctor's number one problem with successful outcomes is patient compliance. That's a fancy way of saying that they tell people what to do, like you need to lose weight, but people don't do it even though their health may depend on it. Well, I'm here to be part of the solution to help you create positive change in your life through the power of habit change. So let's uncover the secrets behind habit formation and explore practical strategies to help you create positive change in your life. Let's start by understanding what habits are. Habits are the routines and behaviors that we perform almost without thinking, thanks to repetition. They form subconscious scaffolding of our daily lives, influencing up to 40% of our actions. Imagine the power you hold if you can harness and reshape this autopilot mode to serve your goals. I'd like to talk for just a moment about the science behind habits. I'm sure most of you know or have heard about Charles Duhigg. Charles Duhigg is a Pulitzer Prize winning reporter and the author of The Power of Habits, Why We Do What We Do in Life and Business, which spent over three years on the New York Times bestseller list. When I first stumbled upon Charles Duhigg, I was inspired to learn that he was born in my home state of New Mexico. His stepfather, John J. Duhigg, created an amazing legacy as a trial lawyer in Albuquerque's legal community for over 60 years. As part of the legal community in Albuquerque for 13 years, I enjoy feeling a sense of connection to people. So to truly appreciate habit change, we need to get familiar with the habit loop, a concept highlighted by Charles Duhigg. This loop consists of three components, cue, routine, and reward. The cue triggers your brain to initiate a behavior. The routine is the behavior itself. And the reward 
reinforces it. Research shows that it can take anywhere from 18 to 254 days to form a habit with an average of 66 days. So patience and consistency are key. So let's talk about creating new habits. And I will share with you some effective ways to build new habits. Number one, start small. Begin with minor changes. Focus on the habits of exercising for just five minutes a day before gradually increasing their duration. Number two, set clear intentions. Define your goals in actionable terms. Instead of, I want to read more, say, I will read for 10 minutes before bed. These are actionable steps. Number three, piggyback on existing habits. Use existing habits to introduce new ones. Want to drink more water? Take a sip every time you check your phone. Number four, use visual cues. Visual reminders can be powerful. Post-its, phone alarms, or strategic object objects placement can trigger your desired behavior. One thing that works for me is positive affirmations and reminders where I can see them all the time. So I'll write things on my bathroom mirror. I have cards taped to the bottom of my monitor. Um, phone alarms really help me remember to do things. There are apps you can install on your phone, which will remind you to drink your water. So use those visual cues. Number five, consistent rewards. Reinforce successes by rewarding yourself whether it's your favorite snack or a simple moment of acknowledgement. Again, if you've been following me for any time, you will know that I am constantly talking about celebrating your wins. For me, this is my reinforcement. This is my reminder of not only how far I have come, but of all of the things I have learned along the way. Number six, seek support and accountability. Share your goals with friends or join a community. Accountability can energize and motivate your progress. You know, also working with a coach. Support and accountability is what we do best. We help keep you on track. We celebrate your wins. We remind you of your strengths. Now, I want to shift to overcoming challenges. Habit change is a journey. Like I mentioned before, it takes a while to create new habits. And challenges are part of that journey. Here's how you can tackle them challenges. Be patient. Change takes time. Show yourself kindness as you navigate this process. Reframe setbacks. See slip ups as learning opportunities instead of failures. Stay flexible. Life is dynamic. Adapt and find creative ways to maintain your habits through life's ebbs and flows. So in conclusion, harnessing the power of habits is a transformative journey. By understanding the science and implementing these strategies, you can align your habits 
with your aspirations. Remember, each small step you take is edging you toward a fulfilling life. Embrace this journey with passion and optimism. Thank you for tuning in. If you have any thoughts or stories about your habit journey, I'd love to hear about them. Until next time, keep striving, keep growing, and know that your potential is unlimited.